I just got back from checking out Universal Orlando's brand new DreamWorks Land, their new projection and fountain show, Cinesational, a symphonic spectacular, that is a mouthful, and the new projection show over in Hogwarts, Hogwarts Always. So let's get into it. So we started the night off in DreamWorks Land. This is the new kids area that replaces the old kids zone, but all of that has changed. And now when you enter the area, you go right up to Shrek's Swamp. This is really just a meet and greet area and then Behind that is a little kid's play area. There's some slides. We made sure to go down the slides. The Far Far A Waffle. Uh, we had the pepperoni pizza one. This is a pizza waffle. I had the Chunky Donkey Chocolate Ice Pop. Uh, the packaging for this stuff is unbelievable. I've never had an ice pop or anything like this that is packaged to this level. We did speak with one of the chefs and this is what he had to say about everything on the menu. Have over here. It's a great sour apple ice pop. So a nice sour apple flavor. Obviously it's green like Shrek is. The detailing in these pops is amazing. Uh, the Chonky Donkey, it's a chocolate ice pop. Uh, it has a nice little face of the donkey there. The Shrexel, probably our most popular thing so far. We all know Donkey, he loved to make waffles, right? That was his thing. So we took it a step further and said, you know what, let's make it a savory waffle. Then one of my favorites is the Swamp Dog. Um, it's house-made pizza dough, all beef hot dog in the middle, sage derby cheese. So it's a green and white cheese. So as it cooks and you bite into it, it kind of oozes out. So crispy on the outside, warm and gooey in the middle, a nice little pizza sauce on top, a couple of little red pepper flakes so it gives it a little bit of spice. And then, of course, uh, we do a great pudding, our mud puddle pudding. Um, there's Oreo cookie the crumbs. We have some chocolate ganache, some pastry cream in that. And, of course, we know Shrek loved to eat the centipedes, right? So we went ahead and gave you a gummy centipede. I love it. As we go a little bit further back, there's an area called Mama Luna Feline Fiesta. Uh, if you did see the newer Puss in Boots movie, there's a portion of the movie where he ends up in a house full of cats and it's like his retirement area. So anyway, there's a lot of interactive stuff here. You can like move this stuff around and the things on the screen interact um, based on what you're doing with certain buttons and things you spin around and all sorts of stuff. It was cool. As you go a little bit further back, you get to the show, which I would say is arguably the best thing in this area. It's about like a 15 minute, 20 minute stage show. And it's called DreamWorks Imagination Celebration. So the show follows two characters. Uh, they're trying to rekindle their imagination. And through this, they start seeing things in the clouds that remind them of old DreamWorks films. The screens on the walls were really cool for adding a lot of interactivity. The stage actors get like right in front of you. Obviously it was a bunch of media crew and there were no kids in the room, but I feel like if there were kids in the room, they'd be having a ton of fun jumping around singing. In this area as well, outside of the show, there's a lot of trolls stuff, uh, some meet and greets that happen here and there in front of this nice fountain. And then over to the side is our other food booth for the area trolls treats. So this area is literally just for some refreshments and then the specialty item is trolls soft serve. They have the Populicious Pink, which is a pink lemonade soft serve with these little sprinkles on top. And there's a Brozone Berry, which is a Huckleberry soft serve that has some little sprinkle things on top too. I think that the soft serve over there is better than both the ice pops that I got. I had eaten so much food at that point that I could not finish this thing, but I wanted to really bad. It was very, very good. Behind Troll Streets is the new Trolls Troller Coaster. This is a retheme of the old Woody Woodpecker roller coaster. I don't have much to say about it. It is a children's roller coaster. It is a starter roller coaster. So if you have kids, they're gonna love it. It's a fun thing for them to do. Uh, get their little toes wet um, for a thrill ride. And then the very back area, Area where Curious George was. This has been completely rethemed to Kung Fu Panda. The water area was really cool. Uh, there's still some interactivity out here. They've rethemed the whole area. But in the very, very back behind all of that is this interactive area called Po Live. I don't know if you've ever done any of the other interactive screen experiences. They have one at Disney, Turtle Talk with Crush. This one is a lot more interactive and a lot more immersive because the person on screen is like in a full bodysuit back there. They are talking and interacting with the people in front of the screen like 
there in front of them. They're telling the kids, you know, like, oh, you know, harness your chi and, and focus it on this area to like blow up this jar. If I was a kid and I would have went into that area, I would have had a lot of fun. I remember growing up and going to the Curious George area, like that is ingrained in my head. So that about wraps it up for DreamWorks Land. It was a lot of fun, very cool. So next up, they took us to Sensational, a symphonic spectacular. Uh, this is a brand new projection water fountain uh, drone show that is set to music and really just celebrates all uh, film and movies from the past. This new show is a 22 minute show, which is long. It was worth every minute of it. Uh, had an amazing time. It celebrates all film through the years. I mean, we saw tons of stuff. They had Jurassic Park. They had The Mummy. They had Trolls. They had Ghostbusters. They had Back to the Future. There was a bunch of custom music made for this thing. The projections were great. Uh, they have some new fountains that go even higher, I believe. The fireworks elements were cool. But also, for me, they made sure to preface this is not a drone show, but having the drones implemented into the show was so cool. I had never seen any of the drone shows. You're watching the show and you're seeing everything in front of you and then over to the right up in the sky, there was like a How to Train Your Dragon scene that was up there, some Shrek, Fiona, some Back to the Future stuff, some Ghostbusters stuff. I know a lot of people are doing this whole drone thing, but like they did it right and it felt really good. And now we make our way from Universal Studios Orlando over to Islands of Adventure to experience the new Hogwarts Always. This brand new show replaces the nighttime lights at Hogwarts Castle, which ran from January of 2018 to sometime in 2023. This is something that if you're at the park and you're in the area, it will replay multiple times a night. The thing that makes this one different than the last one is each ending is different. So there's a winner, whether that's Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. And the projection is great, right? There's a, a handful of different viewing points. You can view it right in front of the castle uh, where you're walking up to Forbidden Journey, or you can view it over from the bridge that goes from Jurassic Park over into the Harry Potter area for no additional cost. You don't have to line up and wait for you know the show to start. It happens multiple times throughout the night. Um, it is a really cool thing to just experience as you're walking through the area. Overall, really cool, really liked it. At the very end, they have fireworks go off in all four colors of all the houses. And um, the perspective that you get from looking at it from down there, there's like this part where like they have a train come out and it looks like it's actually coming out of the castle. It looks really, really cool. All right, man, what was your favorite part of tonight? I think it was the projection show, the water show, the symphony. Sensational? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I feel like that nostalgia was like the whole trend for the night, and 20, that was one of my favorite parts. 22 minutes. 22 minutes long. That's a really long show. I, yeah. I got to look up like how long some of the Disney shows are, like the new Disney drone show over yeah. at Disney Springs or even over at the castle. It can't be 22 minutes long. No. Yeah. Also, I had never seen drone a drone show, and they, they specifically said it's not a drone show. Right. But seeing the drones like intertwined with the projection show and really the fireworks yes. and just everything else. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the new Hogwarts Forever show? Very cool. Very cool. I like that the ending can change. Four different endings depending on which house you're in. Uh, or which house. Yes, I'm a Ravenclaw. So uh, we both actually got our winners. Our winners. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's amazing. Ravenclaw and Slytherin won tonight. So. <laughs> Let us know down below what was your favorite part of our tour tonight. Make sure you get over to Universal Studios. They got a lot of cool stuff going on this summer. Thank you guys for watching.